हेलो फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वेलकम बैक टू द गुजराती चेस टोन माय नेम इज धर्मेंद्र मुजिद्रा ऑलरेडी वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न बिफोर सो मेनी वेरिएशंस एंड सो मेनी ओपनिंग्स बट टुडे वी विल लर्न वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस ओपनिंग नेम इज इंग्लिश ओपनिंग इंग्लिश ओपनिंग व्हिच इज वाइट प्ले C4. This is called English opening. First, I am suggesting from black side. First move G6 against English. Black can play also F5 in anti birds opening. Also, black can reply by moving to C6. Black can reply e6 also. Knight f6. E5. And symmetrical opening c4 c5. Okay. Let's start with g6. Black reply in first move against English opening. So you should. Write down all variation, all moves. First move c4, and we are watching g6. Now white should play here e4. Black replies e5, and now d4. Here, black has good choice. Knight to f6 with a counter attack and developing the knight. Now white can play knight f3, threatening on e5 pawn. Black will give the check. Bishop to b4. Bishop d2. Black takes your bishop. Queen takes d2, offering e4 pawn instead of knight takes d2. After queen takes d2, black will take your pawn on e4. But after queen e3, black forced to save his knight. Moving by f5. Now d takes e5. Queen e7, more playable. And knight c3. There is an equal position, but uh, white has a slight advantage, long diagonal, and weakness of g6, h6. Okay, let's see. First, f5. C4, f5. Planning birds opening from black side. After f5, white will play knight to f3, knight f6, d3, e6, Bishop G2, D5, White Castle, C6. Now you can see Black has a good power structure in this position, but some of weakness like this uh, diagonal are weakness and this E6 power. Weakness in end game. So after c6, white simply play d3, bishop to e7, planning, short castling. White will play b3 here. Now white has a good chance to take a long diagonal b2 g7. 
पात्र बी थे ब्लैक विल कैसल बिशप बीटो नेचरल मूवी है ए फाइव ब्लैक कैन प्लानिंग द ब्रेक और ए फोर और ए थ्री नाइट सी थ्री नाइट ए सिक्स स्लाइड एडवांटेज फॉर वाइट इन दिस पोजीशन ओके लेट्स सी फर्स्ट मूव सी सिक्स व्हाट विल हैपन C4, C6, Knight F3, D5, Black trying to control the center, moving C6 and D5. After D5, White simply reply by E3, open his blind square bishop and taking this pawn by bishop. So E3, Black will develop his knight on F6. Same reply, knight c3, stop this knight on e4, after black play e6, white can play here b3, with idea bishop to b2, now black will reply, knight bd7, queen c2, bishop d6, This variation going to semi-slave defense after bishop d6, white will play bishop to e2, black castle, white also castle, r e8, bishop b2, e5 c takes d5 knight takes d5 in this position both sides equal okay one more variation here in c6 c4 c6 Knight f3, d5, g3, if black plays here, bishop to g4, after bishop g2, and d7, he takes d5, he takes d5, knight c3, e6, queen e4, attack on g4, bishop, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, a6, with idea b5 d4 and g f6 white castle and d5 this is also good condition okay let's see c6 c4 c6 we will change bishop g4 and f6 after knight f3 black d5 g3 now, black change his mind, moving knight f3 instead of bishop to d4. Okay, after knight f6, 
very simple move. You have to d2. D takes c4, playing by black. No worry about it. Why should castle here? At b d7. Queen to c2. And b6. Support a c4 pawn. Knight a3. Black trying to save his c4 pawn by moving queen to d5. Knight h4. Discover attack. Queen will play here. Queen to e6. Black trying to save his c4 pawn. e4. g6. As you can see, black development is very poor. After g6, b3, sacrifice on b4, bishop to g7. Black should not take this pawn. Okay, let's see second move, e6. E4, E6, G3, D5, Bishop to G2, G6, D4, BG7, Knight A3, Knight e7. Idea behind this move Knight to f5. After Knight f5, Black can take this pawn and Knight takes pawn. So Knight e7. White reply Castle and b6. Knight a3. Short castling by black on e3 b6 bishop to d2 a5 qb3 now why straight on c4 to f7 diagonal Bishop a6. White cannot take this pawn because of bishop is attacking this rook. After bishop a6, rf d1 simply and x ray attack on black screen. rf d1 black will be queen d7. r a c1 slight same as uh, Sicilian Mora Gambit. Structure. After Rc1, black will play rook f d8, bishop to e1, r a c8, playing by black, bishop s3, Okay, one more variation for you in C E6, C4, E6, G3, D5, B G2, D takes C4, and Queen A. Checking the king. And D7, Queen takes C4, regain a pawn, Black will play C5 here, 
knight f3 b6 knight d4 what a discovered attack if black takes this knight black will lose his rook after knight d4 counter attack by black knight e5 now white can also give counter knight c6 knight takes c4 playing by black knight takes d8 which is discovered attack from rook to h8 rook b8 this is a force move otherwise black will lose his exchange r b8 and simply knight c6 here white has a slight advantage Okay, let's see. Second move, knight f6. I hope you will enjoy this opening, and we will see some more variation in my next video. Sorry, due to some disappointment and. for some social work i could not join you but now i promise we will meet early as possible thank you